Hi guys, this is Tarun Gautam Gangarapu. In this video, we will uh, we will run uh, we will understand how to run awk programming in different ways. Uh, the first one is uh, inline. It's nothing but command inline. We can uh, actually run any of the awk program uh, using inline commands only. The best example for this is from our previous example lsfnlrt awk. Print dollar five is an example for uh, inline command where uh, we are not specifying any file. We are just running it in the command line. It is called inline. The other way of running it is on based on file based. Say suppose if we want to if we have a very big awk program and we cannot make it in, in a single command line, right? In that case, uh, we can create an awk file and we can run that file uh, using awk-f command. We will see that. Uh, let's create a simple file. Uh, don't worry about what this begin uh, and end all this means. Let's, be, let's go with it. Uh, uh, we will learn it uh, uh, in the next coming video. Print dollar two. I just want to print the second line. Yep. This I can save it uh, as a program. You no need to explicitly mention as AWK. A you can just mention it as TXT or SH or uh, some other uh, uh, file naming convention. Uh, but the best or standard way is to mention it as awk. You can actually save it as .txt as well. No issue. Still it will run. Save it. And you can run it now. Let's see whether my file got saved or not. Yep, my file got saved. Now uh, I want to just print dollar uh, two from the mail list dot that awk hyphen f awk program dot awk and here is my input file name. Yeah, see, we are getting the output. Even if you don't want to mention this awk hyphen f uh, before triggering this awk command, then the other way of doing it is just go to the file just include this uh, one line sorry you need to mention hyphen f at the end of this this way you can directly trigger the awk command. Yeah, we need to give executable permissions for this. Yeah, now you see, you, uh, you can get the uh, desired contents. But one thing you should remember is that you cannot put your file name in this awk programming file. If I try to put my mail list dot that, uh, if, I, uh, if I directly encode my file name and save it, uh, then it won't run. Then it, it will throw us an error. I'm just removing my file name parameter assuming that uh, I gave my file name at the end of this line no it will it won't run 
just try putting it in new line save it still it won't run okay so we so far covered inline file based with this both two options and we can also inscribe uh, this awk commands in some shell scripts so let's uh, create one more shell script this is my sample shell script Let's see what uh, my shell script. Yeah, it's there. I'm executing this shell script. I think I need to give permissions. Okay. Yeah, it got executed. So these are all the uh, ways that we can run our op program. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.